On June 16 of 2015, real estate mogul Donald J. Trump announced his candidacy for president of the United States. It was on that day he spoke about his plans for immigration for the first time. I would build a great wall. Stirring up some controversy. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some I assume are good people. The idea of a massive wall on our southern border gained momentum during his campaign. But Trump's concerns didn't end at the southern border. The soon-to-be president also made his views clear about the refugee crisis in the Middle East. If I'm elected president, I am going to keep radical Islamic terrorists the hell out of our country. On November 8, 2016, Donald J. Trump was elected the 45th president of the United States, pledging to put America first and bring back our borders on Inauguration Day. True to his campaign promises since the start of his presidency, Trump has signed 12 executive orders, including establishing the construction of the wall along the Mexican border on January 25th. On January 27th, he would sign yet another executive order that would ban people from seven Muslim-majority nations from entering the United States. That order left dozens of legal U.S. residents stranded overseas and many flying into the country with valid visas were detained for hours, prompting protests all over the country, including right here at JFK Airport. No hate, no fear. Hamid Khalid Darwish, an Iraqi who helped U.S. troops overseas, was among those detained at the airport. This is the humanity. This is the soul of the, the America. Now this is what pushed me to move, leave my country and come here. Reaction from politicians were immediate. I am glad you're here. New York is glad you're here. America is glad you're here. Among them, Senate Minority Leader Charles Schumer, who met with a Syrian family vowing to stand up on their behalf. We are going to fight these bad orders tooth and nail. Brooklyn Federal District Judge Ann Donnelly then issued a temporary restraining order banning deportations of those detainees, ruling that sending the immigrants home could cause them irreparable harm. Other states followed the decision. A three-judge panel from the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld the decision, and although the president said he was determined to continue the court process with a larger panel or even take it to the Supreme Court, today he announced the administration will go back to the drawing board. We had a bad decision. We're going to keep going with that decision. We're going to put in a new, uh, a new executive order next week. Changes that have left many immigrants in our community with unanswered questions and in fear. My sons are afraid that we go outside with them because they think the People, the police will take us and they will never see us again. Reporting for News 12, Amy Rodriguez.